Welcome to the Haunted Old Mill, or simply the Old Mill. Built in 1883 using rejected stones that were to be used for the Salt Lake Temple. Uh, they took the stones that they didn't want, gave them to the Deseret News, and they built this building to be their paper mill to make the newspaper. It ran as a paper mill for about 10 years. So they sold the mill to another paper company who ran it really successfully for about two years until it burned out. So the damage we're seeing here was actually done more than 130 years ago. That's pretty cool. Uh, all other versions of the old mill that came after this never repaired the outside portion of it. So after the building burned down in the 1800s, uh, it sat empty until the 1920s was when the Prohibition era started. This became kind of a... Uh, that lasted until the 1930s when Prohibition ended, the building once again fell into disrepair. In the late 1960s, to have bands come and play. So local bands like Wishful Thinking, even bands like Alice Cooper and his band played here in the 1960s. In fact, there's a famous photo taken by Ed Huntsman with Alice Cooper like right here, which is kind of cool, right? As a kid, uh, like I remember it just feeling enormous. And looking at it, it's, especially from this angle, it doesn't look all that much bigger than really an average house. We talked to Bob Dunfeld, who was the guy behind the March of Dimes Haunted House, and he was the guy who in the 1980s decided to put a haunt in the old mill. You'd go in and there was the, the area down to your left, and then you'd go in the front doors, and I remember you'd get your ticket, and there was this giant fireplace, and there was like a sign saying, <laughs> built on the Wasatch Fault. Like that was a, <laughs> That was, I mean, these, these are images that are just seared in my memory. That uh, was owned by sand and gravel people, and that was on the fall. Are there like sub-levels to the old mill, or is it? <laughs> yeah, there's a basement, a main level, and a top floor, but up on that upper area that we call that the mezzanine. That's where the big fireplace was, that's where the bar was, that's where we camped when we were there working long nights. And it seemed like when we would go there as kids, it seemed like it had been empty for just oh, decades. Yeah. yeah, for years and years and years. And so right here on Big Cottonwood Canyon Road, this right here was the exit right behind me. You can still see some remnants of the old haunted house days. The green on the uh, the window pane uh, that you see on the building, that was from the haunted house. Most everything has been taken out of the building. And because it is condemned since 2005 and very, very dangerous, we do not advise going in there. And I'm gonna take my own advice, sadly, because I really wanna go in there. But safety first, I'm not going in. There's been a lot of ghost stories about this place over the years. A transient and their dog uh, who perished in a fire in the 1930s. Maybe even some victims of the original fire in the 1890s. Who knows how many ghosts linger inside? Uh, mostly, if you go in, all you're going to find is, is garbage and uh, a, a lot of spray paint. Uh, it's, it's a favorite of vandals who like to sneak in. Uh, please don't. The building is very, very unsafe. It really is creepy, dude. It looks like something straight out of Scooby-Doo. They would even do this thing because uh, dancing was outlawed in, in Salt Lake County on Sundays. So kids would gather and they would sit on the dance floor and they would do uh, electronic light shows on the walls, like psychedelic visuals and stuff like that. I remember it's the 1960s. So they would like show lights set to music and the kids weren't allowed to dance, but they'd still get together and hang out. It's easy to imagine what this must have looked like when it was here in the, uh, in the 1800s and even the early 1900s, because there was nothing else here, right? It was just, just the landscape and then this building at the mouth of the canyon. My thanks to Utah Adventures for putting their drone inside the old mill so that we could uh, risk their electronic device for your entertainment, not our own. My thanks to Ed Huntsman, who took a bunch of the historic photos of the old mill that we got to use today. Also, big thanks to Bob Dunfield, the guy who ran the haunted house in the 80s, for sharing his stories and for appearing in the video. And his current haunt, Fear Factory, in downtown Salt Lake. As always, you like what you see? Like it, subscribe to it, and comment below what you want to see next time. And the cops are here. Hi, how are you? And we're going to an off-limits area. Uh, we're actually passing the runway at the Wendover Airport right now. We're in a cop car. <laughs> 
and we're going out to the old uh, bunkers. 